Okay, <clears throat> this video is going to talk about uh, or introduce the if-else structure. So if you um, if you're going to follow along in JGRASP, which is where we're going to start, we're just going to start with an example in our in this first video. Um, we're just going to go through an example in JGRASP and show it in action first, and then we're going to discuss it. Uh, if you want to follow along in JGRASP, then you'll need to open up the if structure demo that's in the module, uh, I think, under day two, and that we already have gone through. So this, if you've been, if you were in last class, then you already have this in uh, in JGRASP. And so what you'll need to do if you're going to follow along is to uh, just change the heading or the name of the class here in the class heading to if and then add the word else structure demo and then put one in because we're going to do two programs so we're going to demonstrate the if else structure so do that and do a save as and then you you know do that pause this video if you want and then come back so we are here with the if else structure demo here and so it, this is what our code looked like when we discussed the if structure and the if structure remember just has one alternative which means that uh, based on their percentage based on this boolean expression the only alternative that we have or that we want to program is what to do if they get a passing score and that's to tell them congratulations so we're not including the alternative what to say to the user if they didn't get a passing score so this right here this is considered an alternative this is one alternative and that's why we only use the if structure because we're only doing one alternative now if we want to then add another alternative the other alternative would be to tell the user something if they got a, a score that was less than 70 percent and so this is what we're going to do with that we are going to add code below here whoops where to go That's going to look like this, only this didn't come out right. And so what you want to do is, if you're following along, is to add this code here. And we'll get that set up here. And so what we've done then is we've taken this right here and added the other alternative so if we're reading this code properly let's say the percentage ends up to be 60 then it, since this is false if you remember from our previous day then the compiler ignores the if clause and then it would move on now to the else clause or the else statement this would be considered an else statement and else is going to just run as long as this is false the else is going to run and so it's going to go in here and do the else clause which is going to tell them unfortunately 60 percent was not or 60.0 is not passing you will need to redo this chapter and then it'll go on and say thank you for using this program so we're going to go ahead and run that and so you see that it actually works. So one thing to remember here: 35 is pa is 35 points out of 50 is is a 70 percent. So I'm going to do something less than 35. And so when I run this here, um, it is it says enter the points earned. I'm going to type in 30, and that is going to give me um, a 60 percent. So notice that it bypasses it ignores 
this doesn't say congratulations, you pass, because this is false. 60 is not greater than or equal to 70. It goes on to else and says unfortunately, so unfortunately 60% is not passing. You will need to redo this chapter and then it, after the if else structure, then it does this. Thank you for using this program. Now one thing that we did in class is we showed how to um, get uh, blank lines um, after the, the user input and in he, this part because all this is all bunched together enter the points earned all this this is all bunched together so we want to add uh, blank lines without doing system dot out dot print ln blank parentheses and so this is what we did in class and we're going to try to use this more often we're going to use the um, backslash which is above the enter key and the N, and we've done this before, but now we're going to re remind ourselves of how to do this. And so this backslash N, is, backslash is considered an escape character, and so uh, backslash N is going to say to the compiler, and press the Enter key and then print all this. So press the Enter key first, then print. And so we're going to put one there, and so I'm, we're just going to copy here, and we're going to put it here as well and then we're going to put it here as well and it'll cause it to, to hit spaces before uh, typing or before displaying thank you before th displaying unfortunately etc and so here we go compile it we'll run it I'll enter the 30 again and so then you'll notice here that this here looks nicer than oh I erased the, or deleted the other part than when it was all bunched up okay let's go on to the next example the next example is um, what we want to do is change this to 2 in the class header so change this to 2 and then do a save as Alright, so this is another example, so we don't want to lose the other one. Now, what if we add a third alternative? So, at this point right now, we have um, one alternative here. This is one, is to tell them congratulations that they passed if they got a score above 70 or equal to 70. And then here's the second alternative was if they, you know, what happens if they don't pass a class, or if they get less than 70, then we're going to tell them this. So that's the second. We're going to add a third alternative, and that's going to be to um, deal with well, what if they passed so well that they got an A? So let's get that a third alternative. And so what we're going to do here is we'll set this up um, by adding something else to this. So what we want to do is above the greater than or equal to 70 boolean expression we want to put another one and so I gotta get this fixed up and so what happens here we're gonna have if the percentage is greater than or equal to 90 if they get a 90 or above, in other words, then we're going to give them an A. And so if this is true, then it's going to say congratulations, your whatever percent is, is an A. And then you may now begin the next chapter. Um, if you want to add a blank line in between here on this code, which is sometimes a good idea, you don't have to, but let's say we do. Okay, so there we are. Now the other thing is that we want to make sure to do is this next sentence this next statement here should be else if else and then if and notice how that also turns purple because these are special words special Java words and so it goes if else if and else three alternatives this is if they get an A this is if they get a uh, a passing score but not an A and then this is if they get a score less than a 70 and so if we then compile that and run it, um, 
if you remember, 45 per points out of 50 is going to be a 90. So I'm going to put uh, 48. So we make sure it's an A. So notice it says, congratulations, your 96 is an A. You may now begin the next chapter. And thank you for using this program. So notice what it did. Since this was true, it did this if clause. And then it, what it did is it ignored the else if part, and it ignored the else part, and just went directly to thank you for using this program. All right, so that'll be important to get. Now let's go ahead and put try one more test, and that is for let's get something between the 70 and the 90. So 70 is 35, 90 is 45 points. So let's do a 40 points and see what happens there. See if it does it right. So here's 40. Enter. And it says, congratulations, you passed with a percentage of 80. You may begin the next chapter. And then it, thank you for using this program. So how did that work? Well, uh, up here, it we typed a 40, got and it got to be a um, 80 percentage. And so it checked this out. 80 is 80 greater than or equal to 90? Well, that's false. So it ignores the if clause. It goes on to the else. And it goes, oops. Oops. <laughs> and then it goes to the else if. And it says, OK, well, is 80, oh, come on, this is, I got to do better than this. It says, is the 80 greater than or equal, technically it's 80.0, is that greater than or equal to 70? Well, yes, it is. So it prints, congratulations, you pass with a percentage of 80. You may now begin the next chapter. And then it uh, bypasses the else. And then it goes right on and says, thank you for using this program. All right? So that's how that works. That's an example of it working in JGrasp. And so uh, that we're going to finish th this video with this. And now we're going to go on and do the, the notes on page 5. We're going to fill in the blanks and show how this is working with terminology.